quarter. Um, what was the sort of message after they really pulled out, they pulled out the sort of first lead, end of the third, going to the fourth? What's the message? Uh, well, we were kind of dead in the water uh, at the end of the third, yeah, 32 to 12. We, we, we obviously didn't have a good third quarter. We needed to come out with some energy and some pop. If we didn't, probably weren't going to win the game. So um, credit to our guys uh, sticking together and, and finding a way uh, to win a game uh, against a team that's hungry for a win. We knew this wasn't going to be easy. Uh, Kansas is a good team that we knew would play urgent, uh, and we knew they would do whatever they could to, to try to find a way to win the game. So that's what we did in the fourth quarter to start. What did you make of sort of the entire game? Sort of a lot of runs and very high paced stretches. What would you make of it? Yeah, that's, I mean, at the end of the day, that's basketball. Um, it was a fun game for the fans. Not so much fun for me because I always want more from, from my team. But I understand it's a game of runs, right? So um, we got off to a great start. Um, and then they came back, kind of almost similar second half as first half. We got off to a great start. They came back. Um, I guess it was inverted in the second half. And then uh, we made a great push at the end of, uh, I think, Kenny. Matt Kenyon actually came on the floor and gave us a great burst of energy in the second quarter. And we were up 13 going into the half. And then we were just flat for whatever reason. But that can happen sometimes. And uh, we had multiple guys come in and just kind of change the, the energy. Obviously, Matt was tremendous. Um, but he got in some foul trouble. So um, yeah, I don't know if that answers your question. But yeah. <laughs> Last quote when he needed um, some people to step up, and um, obviously Nathan and Matt were just just huge in that last quarter. They just pretty much won the game, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, I keep preaching it. You know, um, it's not going to be everybody's everybody's night every every game. Uh, you know, we had a great. Great performance from Foxy last game. Uh, Sobe was great in the fourth quarter. Matt was kind of super solid uh, the entire game. Just kind of, I thought, you know, Wieskamp gave us really good uh, minutes uh, tonight, especially in the second half. I thought his defense was really good. Uh, really, really stepped up his game in the second half. Um, again, Malik solid. I could go on and on and on about, about the roster. And that's, that's kind of what we want to build here. We want to have multiple guys uh, that can help us uh, deliver a win. Game in the sense that you, you know, I don't know if you remember, you had a club record um, first half score of 63, and then to almost find yourself in a situation where you almost lose the game. Well, yeah, that's the scary part as a coach. Um, you know, you're up, you have 63 points at the half, but you, you're only up 13. I, I would like to think we were up 20 if we have 63. But again, that, that basketball is a funky game, right? And um, credit to my team for finding a way. At the end of the day, we you got to find ways to win games, multiple different ways. It's not always going to be the same, and and our guys, our guys did that. Joe went from a DMP to two solid games in a row now. Is he doing something different out there that you're really liking? Um, I thought Joe has handled it or handled that situation like a, a professional. Uh, he, he, he came into practice, didn't ask questions, didn't really ask why. We had a conversation and just talked a little bit about what we needed from him uh, as a player, and, and he's, he's doing that. Um, Man, I'm, I'm proud of him for that, you know, and I think he can, he's not at his peak performance yet. I think he's going to get better here as the season goes on. What did you make of Nathan's sort of shot selection? It's something I think he's been maligned for over the course of the season, but I thought today seemed yeah. like he picked his spots a little better. Yeah, I thought, I thought Sobes was great. Again, he had a, I don't know what his numbers were in the fourth quarter, but he hit several, had several big ba takes at the basket, hit a big time three out of a timeout uh, on, on a wide pin down. I think it was with Matt. Um, no, I mean, he's, he's a veteran. He's in this league uh, for a long time. And, and uh, yeah, we rely on him a lot. But uh, again, s several other guys uh, also helped in this game as well. Matt, what did you like about your team's performance, especially after you got in that hole at the end of the third and you guys managed to fight back? Yeah, like you said, uh, basketball's a game of runs. Um, obviously, they have really talented guards, really talented wings as well. So obviously, they were hungry for a win. Lost last game to Tazzy, close game, but I think just finding a way to win. I mean, that's about this league is just finding ways to win, and you know we did that. But we can learn from this. We can be a lot better and keep it moving. What, what was your mentality in the start of um, final quarter? You know, your team was really needed the spark, and you've obviously stepped up to the plate. Do you sort of relish those situations where you can sort of put the team on your back a bit. Yeah, I'm. I'm always confident with my game, and I think I think I'm kind of like. A hard, a hard player to guard, especially when I'm at the five, because I can dribble, shoot a little bit, um, attack and mismatches. So um, that's what I live for. The moments you work out uh, in the backyard growing up, that's what you live for. And you know, hopefully, I'm just glad we got the win. So. And 
think just from a broader sense, the team has made a really good recovery from the start of the season. You're on five, and now you're sort of well. As of tonight, you're in the top six. You could be there tomorrow again. How's the the, the feeling amongst the group now since that starts? I mean, it feels good, but I've always kind of leaned on, like, always stay humble. Um, obviously, we're only five, but just keep coming to work every day with the same mindset of trying to get better. Um, and, I'll, you know, we're getting some more wins now, but it doesn't matter. we got a tough game in Brisbane at Brisbane uh, next Thursday, and then, you know, take one game at a time, one practice at a time, and, you know, keep it pushing. What would you make of uh, the way Jordan brought up his 1,000th career point with that big, <laughs> that big Oh, my dunk. gosh. <laughs> I, I didn't really know, really know of him, but, like, when he jumps off that right leg, it's <laughs> – Bouncy for sure, for sure. <laughs> that was his thousandth. The end, the end, the end one wow. that was a two pointer. Yeah, yeah. When he Sorry, down that was and then... the end. Yeah, I got you. That dunk was a the dunk though was his thousandth. Yeah, That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that. <laughs> That's cool. What, what, did, what did you make of that? Because you you mentioned that Jordy's a gentle giant. Everyone who knows him would say as much, and you want some more aggression from him. You want to see more of that? Of course. Yeah. I mean, I I, I told you his biggest weakness is his he's. He's just a nice, lovable guy, but he's a really good basketball player. And uh, yeah, I, I'm happy to see that he got his thousandth, and that's an awesome way to get your thousandth point. Um, every every time you guys either get a stop or, or they score, um, you're you're very sort of animated on the bench, and presumably wanting someone what to pick up the the ball carrier or deny the ball carrier. And sometimes I don't do that. You get a note. What exactly are you asking for in those moments, generally? It's strategy, so I can't tell you. But <laughs> uh, no, I, I, yeah, we want to we, we we want to pick up uh, and and do a lot of our work ideally before the ball crosses half court, and we wanted to wear them down. I did think, you know, Cans Cans played what two, 48 hours ago. I did think we wore them down in the fourth quarter, and that's giving away our secrets. Um, no, I want our guys to pick up and and and. Deny certain guys the ball. That's all that is. Just reminders. It's supposed to be a reminder, but it's a constant 40-minute reminder. Josh, what do you like about where this team's at from a mentality perspective in terms of being able to close out games now, which was obviously lacking something? Between the win over Illawarra last weekend and then tonight in these high-pressure moments, they're coming through now where they were earlier in the season. So how do you rate where the team's at from that perspective? Yeah, like, like I said, you got to find different ways to win basketball games, uh, and you got you know it's always good when you can find ways to win them close. It's easy to win a game by twenty or, or whatever, multiple possessions, but I think it kind of brings brings you more together as a team when that happens. And uh, like Matt just said, there's a lot of basketball left though. Um, I, we're sixth in the ladder now, and, and to me, all that means, and I told the guys this in the locker room, that means there's five teams ahead of us, and um, we got a lot of work to do. I like I like the mentality of this group. Um, like I said, it's it hasn't been it's not an easy situation they've had this year, and it shows uh, a lot of resilience and uh, togetherness. I think that this group has for each other, and they support each other, and you can see it every day. It's an everyday thing, and uh, yeah, I think I think we got a good thing going here, but we got to. Keep going, and, and like Matt said, go to show up to practice on Monday, ready to get better. You'll have uh, Derek back for Thursday night. Is that the expectation? I, I think so. I, I found what Friday morning he had flu-like symptoms, so he's hopefully going to feel better. And it's a light flu and not a strong flu. Yeah, that's the plan. Happy guys. Rob Thank Good. you very much. Thank